she became known as America's sweetheart, first capturing hearts in simpler times as a Disney Mouseketeer. My years as a Mouseketeer were some of the happiest of my life. I had Walt Disney behind me. He was my mentor. To have that man on your side was such a great asset. Later, she starred in those popular beach movies with perennial co-star Frankie Avalon. It's just like we're married. Exactly. The first, Beach Party, came out in 1963. She made more than 20 movies in all and recorded more than 30 albums. But she downplayed her vocal skill. 32 albums later, I'm, I'm still saying I don't sing. Yeah, let's give it a whirl. In 1987, she was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis and went public with her condition five years later. She credited friends and loyal fans for helping stand by her. There were many days when I really had to have a good cry because of the mail and the phone calls I got. Sacks of mail. I just want to make people feel better. And, and I've had so much contact with people. And we hug each other and we'll have a good cry together. And people don't necessarily put me up on a pedestal anymore. I'm one of them now. In later years, MS left her confined to a wheelchair, but she remained positive. If I can't make someone happy, I'm so thrilled, really. At a tribute to Funicello in 1997, the former Mouseketeer was surrounded, naturally, by her Disney companions. For every important event of my life, Mickey Mouse is always by my side, and I hope he always will be. Michelle Turner, CNN, Hollywood.